The overall goal of this experiment is to detect chromosomal damage induced by exposure of cells to particulate matter extracted from ambient air. This method can help answer one key question in the field of particulate matter, and that is, does particulate matter exposure induce chromosomal damage? The main advantage of this technique is that it allows direct visualization of the damage induced in the genetic material. After collecting and analyzing particles according to the text protocol, carry out particle exposure by warming complete growth medium, 0.25% trypsin and PBS in a water bath at 37 degrees Celsius for at least 30 minutes before culture initiation. After washing raw 264.7 cells, add one milliliter of the warm trypsin solution to the dish and dislodge the cells from the bottom of a tissue culture vessel by scraping. Then collect the cells and make a single cell suspension by repeated pipetting. With Tripan Blue, count the number of cells, then use pre-warmed complete medium to plate them at a density of 8,000 per square centimeter in a 100 millimeter tissue culture dish. Then use complete medium to adjust the volume to 10 milliliters for a final concentration of 50,000 cells per milliliter. Incubate the cells at 37 degrees Celsius and 5% CO2 for 24 hours to allow them to attach. In a biosafety cabinet, use sterile PBS to dilute filtered particles at a concentration of 0.5 milligrams per milliliter.